Hey everybody, it's Mickey, and in today's video, I have a really big Walmart grocery pickup haul for you. I'm gonna give you a little peek into my meal plan for the week, and I'm gonna show you how I process all these groceries when I get home. So if you're new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So this is going to be my second Walmart grocery pickup since this whole stay at home order started. You know, we are still struggling in our area to get some basic groceries such as paper towels, Clorox wipe, yeast and you know some meat items so i don't always get what i order but the thing i like the most about using walmart is that you can edit your list all the way up until the morning that you're going to pick up so my goal this week was to get as many meat items as i can because we are running really really low on some basics so i kind of padded my list a little bit in hopes that i end up with the majority of the things that i need so are you guys having trouble in your area still getting some grocery items? Let me know in the comments section down below. So it looks like my list is all up to date. I got my email that my groceries are in. So we are going to head there now to pick them up. And of course, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my so we are home and I brought all the groceries into the kitchen. I ended up getting almost everything on my list, which I'm really excited about. We got everything but the paper towels and the all-purpose flour, and I spent $196.85. Now, since this whole COVID thing has started, we are wiping down our groceries with disinfecting wipes. And I know there are some reports that say it's completely unnecessary, but I really do think that in these times, you have to do what makes you and your family more comfortable. And right now, using the wipes as much as we can makes us more comfortable. So I'm going to unpack the bags and get that process started. About to leave, already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. This is everything all cleaned and ready to be put away. I have already put in the refrigerator a package of chicken and some ground turkey, but this is everything else that I picked up today, and this should last us easily another two weeks or more. So beginning here in the back, I was able to pick up two packages of toilet paper, which we are very grateful for. I got a couple bags of potato chips for snacks and for lunches during the week. I picked up two boxes of honey bunches of oat cereal. They didn't have a whole gallon of milk, so they substituted to half gallons. I got a large bag of cheesy raviolis, which I've never tried before, but they look really good. I got two packs of crescent rolls, some mixed frozen vegetables, and some tater tots that my son requested. I picked up a couple packages of sliced cheese. I got some Havarti, cheddar, and provolone. I always put a couple slices of provolone into my baked ziti. For meat, I have a couple packages of ground sausage. I put that into tomato sauce and breakfast casseroles. I have some chicken tenderloins and a couple packages of this large ground turkey. I also picked up a chuck rose, probably not the best cut, but I think it'll be really good in the crock pot. 
I've been working on this recipe for crock pot beef tacos and it's one of those where you cook the meat for a really long time so it's nice and tender and shreds really easily. I have a big container of strawberries, some really nice bananas. These are actually have been really hard to come by in our area and these are the best ones that I have seen in probably a month. I got some deli honey ham, a couple packages of butter for baking, some Velveeta slices, I also got a really large bag of long grain rice because this is one of those things that we have not been able to find so I snagged it when I saw it online and I got a couple 14 ounce cans of tomato sauce. Moving on to the back here, I really needed to get some of those basic pantry staples. You know, cooking every day, you really do go through things so much quicker. And with the weather getting a little bit warmer, I wanted to get a new container of sunscreen. I got some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, and vegetable oil. Picked up a couple of boxes of pasta, and of course, a box of Duncan Hines Devil Food Mix. A package of ranch seasoning. I usually make my own, but just lately I haven't been motivated to do that. I have some loaves of farmhouse bread, a package of hamburger rolls. I'm going to be making some sloppy joes this week. I have a few white onions, and these spring onions are a bit of a surprise, but I think I'll be able to figure out how to use them up. I have some green bell peppers, red bell peppers, some zucchini and I got a few limes that I like to you know mix in with my ice water. That is everything that I picked up at Walmart today and like I said this should last us for easy two weeks if not a little more. I just want to say I am so grateful for all those grocery store workers who make it possible for us just to order our groceries online, come and pick them up or they deliver them to our homes. For me personally it has been such a relief not to have to go into the stores. I really so appreciate the fact that they go into work each day and make this possible for us. I wanna get all these groceries put away and get our produce all washed up and ready to use. To prepare our fruits and vegetables to use and be sure that they are as clean as can be, I have been giving them a quick soak in a dish pan full of room temperature water and white vinegar. I let them soak for a little while and then I rinse them off really well in the sink. I do the vegetables and the fruits separately and I really think this is something that I am going to continue to do even after this whole COVID scare is behind us because I really like the idea of only putting clean produce into my refrigerator. I'll let them sit out here on a nice clean dish towel on the counter until they are completely dry. Then I'll put them away until I'm ready to use them. I wanted to give you guys a peek into my food plan for the week, at least what I had planned to make and what I actually make sometimes are very different. But every week I plan out my dinners in my life planner. It really does help me stay focused on what I'm cooking every day, making sure I take things out of the freezer and that I have all the ingredients that I need in case I need to substitute something. So on Monday, I made barbecue chicken and mac and cheese. I just used the chicken tenders that I got in my Walmart grocery haul, and I just did them in a large pan on top of the stove. On Tuesday, I made those crock pot beef tacos that I had mentioned earlier. These came out so, so good, and I'm gonna be sharing that recipe with you in an upcoming video. On Wednesday, we had raviolis and tomato sauce, and then on Thursday, I had leftover veggie soup that I had in the freezer, and I made some cheesy bread. On Friday, I had spent most of the day in the basement. I have been working on purging some things and organizing everything. So it was one of those nights when everybody just kind of fend for themselves. On Saturday, I made a really big pot of sloppy joes. Early in the day, we were all working on our own projects on Saturday. So it was nice to have something that you could eat when you had time to or when you wanted to. And then of course, on Sunday was Mother's Day and we had some breaded chicken and pasta primavera. 
So that is what my week of meals looked like. I'd love to know what you guys are making at home. You know, we are all spending more time in our kitchen than ever before, and it can get a little rough to come up with something new to make for dinner every night. I'd love for you guys to join our community over on Facebook and leave your recipes there. It would be fun to swap some recipes and find some new favorites. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. Please take a minute to subscribe. I would love to have you all back as part of our YouTube family. I'm going to be leaving the link to our Facebook page in the description box on down below. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you again soon. Bye.